another day to get better. Things are gonna be a little bit different today. We're gonna to focus solely on our ball handling. I think it's very important, no matter your position, to be able to handle the ball. So make sure you're focused, make sure you get a good stretch, because it's time to get to work. So the first drill we have up is the spin dribble using an arm ball. The spin dribble is just another way to change your direction versus the defender. So if you have a defender coming at you, a lot of times people would use the spin dribble to create separation versus them. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna show you the basic fundamentals of a spin dribble in order to change direction versus your defender. So pay close attention to the spin drill because a lot of people get ripped or the ball stolen from them because they don't put the ball in the right place and then they don't have the proper protection. So we're gonna start low with the low base. We're gonna go at an angle because a lot of the times you're not gonna be able to go straight up the floor. So we're gonna go up the, at an angle. One, two, three. Okay, make sure our head is up. You see the floor, we're low. We're gonna spin. Arm bar is here to protect the ball. And then we're gonna go up the floor again. One, two, three. Defender cuts us off. Put the ball out in front of us. Change hands. Still low. I'm going up the court again. One, two, three, spin. Ball's out in front of me, right? I change hands, arm bar's up. Next up, we have our V-back dribbles. This is another way to create separation versus your defender. The earlier you learn this move, the easier it's gonna be moving forward. So just like the spin move, we're gonna go at an angle and we're gonna use our arm bar. So for our V-backs, we're gonna take our three dribbles. One, two, three. Our leg for our protection, our arm bar is here. The defender cuts us off. We're gonna use this leg to push back, okay? Create as much space as possible. So it's one, two, three. I created enough space, I'm still supposed to be low. Right now we're gonna use one of our, our dribbles that separation and change direction. So one move we can use is to the legs and change direction. When we're here, we push back, we go behind the back and change direction. Okay, so same thing. We're gonna attack at an angle. One, two, three, arm bar, legs here, push back. One, two, three, change direction. Okay, one, two, three, push back. Next drill is the high to low pound dribble. This is another way to help you with your ball control. So it's a very simple drill, but you have to go hard in it. So you're getting a stance, you're gonna dribble. High, maybe about five times. Hey. Another way to help us with our ball control is called the line drill. You'll find a line anywhere at home and you'll use that as a way to simulate a defender reaching for the ball. So you'll find a line, you'll get in your stance, you're gonna dribble, Defender reaches, you pull behind the line. Once he pulls his hand back, you put it back on top of the line. We'll demonstrate that.
just did front to back. Now we're gonna transition into side to side. It's the same exact thing, but now we're going right to left, right to left. So make sure you maintain a good balance. You're staying low, your head is up. You're going in, out, in, out, without touching the line. Got it bumping. Hey. Our last drill of the day is a drill that Jason Tatum likes to use a lot called the dead drill. So what he does is he likes to rock his defender to sleep. He's gonna play with him a little bit. He's gonna attack. He's gonna explode. Okay? He's gonna explode and then all of a sudden, same hand, same foot. Steps back for a shot. So what he does is he's gonna attack the defender, play with him first, then he's gonna take off, accelerate, he's gonna stop on a dime, his shoulders low, he kind of gives a look, a slight nudge to get him off balance. He's not extending, slight little nudge, step back to the shot. Got it bumping. So I hope you're finding benefit from these drills. These drills are not easy. These are things that you need to work on constantly, day in and day out. We did ball handling, we did separation drills. Not only is it gonna help you as an individual, but it'll help you create for others on your team. Damian Lillard said, in order to perform in front of thousands, you have to outwork thousands in front of nobody. So that means you need to be in the gym, putting up shots, working on your ball handling skills, working on your footwork. Continue to work hard, and we'll see you on the next episode of Easy Buckets.